Hey, uh, this is just first test to see that my hey, voice uh, is fine. This is just first test to see that my voice. <laughs> okay, sorry for the echo. So those who are here, uh, okay. In this, uh, this is kind of a very casual talk. It, I just wanted to talk about uh, all the different things that are happening around us, like the the classes, the school must have been going on. I just wanted to know more about you also, like what you want to know about the uh, different things, what you're interested in, what do you want me to do on this channel, and what you are already doing it. Correct. So more like it's like a catch up. Hey, good evening. Prashanti. So that's what it is. Okay. I'll be like doing something like crazy like this, talking with you. And of course, there is so much physics involved. Oh, I'm going to fall. Oh, I saved myself. So, so now we are going to understand a lot of things. Okay. So good evening, Prashanti. Good evening, Deepika. And I was looking at the chat and I missed the, the, the motion here. By the way, I hope you all, uh, you all are aware that uh, when some object is uh, doing a to and fro motion, it is having a kind of inertia, okay? Inertia of rest and inertia of motion, both is there. So, which as of now has been zeroed. And if I lose this string now, I will fall. Okay, not I, hi Mansi. So the higher chances are that I'm going to fall on this and there's no other way I can save myself. So it's going on. By the way, uh, more about it later. I'll keep on uh, playing this stupid game. If it is stupid to you and if it is very good to you, then it is good. So what about now? Oh my God. So, hi everyone, uh, by the way, uh, this is more about you people talking here, you people letting me know what you want to like pursue on this channel, what do you want to like do here and I'll be also telling you what I'm planning to do more and more. Uh, so here is the idea, okay. So we started with something uh, to solve problems, correct? And uh, the problems seem to be more like uh, in general, as of now, we are doing some math and physics. Hey, this will keep on going and all. Okay, let's do something else. Okay. Can you find the smallest to the biggest in this question? Can you tell me what should be the animals from smallest to biggest? Keep on solving it and letting me know and I'll be doing that. For, for the time being, I'm also telling you that on this channel, we are trying to bring about the real problems like let's say the pollution problem. Let's say that what in the real life solution can be. I'm not talking about something which is very difficult for us to do. Uh, making up something which is very obviously like say, uh, I give you an example. Okay. Consider that you have got a battery powered system. You think that you are conserving energy or you are uh, like natural resources, correct? And you are actually saving planet. But you know that most of the batteries, they go and they get dumped because they, they have a fixed life cycle, correct? So there is also a tree Deepika, what about it? So in this case, uh, what happens that most of the batteries go and get dumped into uh, uh, the waste and that's, that's called e-waste also. And they are not that much recycled. The compounds that they carry, the, the elements, the chemicals they carry is rigorous harmful to the environment, even harmful than the burning of a coal, okay? Or, or a petroleum product, whatever it is, be it diesel or something like that. So in the end, being taking a battery is still not that much environment friendly. You may be thinking that you're getting a lot of, lot of resources and you're saving a lot of resources, but you're not. So we need something, let's say solar powered something, but again, you need a battery. So in the real scenario, what you see is the battery is not a good source. So you have to start thinking about the new type of things in uh, tech. In tech, there is a lot of things happening like supercharged capacitors are coming into, the graphene is coming into, so that we can have a better conductivity and better charge storage capacity. Now, what are these all? We will talk about it also. Tree is or not the animals. Very good. Then we have got the rat, lion and the elephant and let's go. Superb. So someone here 
I hope you can hear the sounds and all. If you can't, I just have to add one desktop uh, audio. Wait, I'll add a desktop audio also. Uh -huh. Where is the audio in this? Audio capture device. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. No, we are not adding that. desktop audio audio output capture okay speakers okay fine i hope this will be adding up to the sound also da okay this is like i'm like crazy this is stupid falling apple i have to cause got it got it got it yeah fine done so Deepika, what we can, can you tell me, what is, uh, okay, someone can find me the rabbit here. So, we can hear, oh, you can hear, then it is good. Okay, so, so the point here is, where is my rabbit? Here is my rabbit, is this rabbit. <laughs> I don't know, how will I solve this? Is this the rabbit? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, my my what I did what did I make? So I'm I'm like super bad at it. Oh, this seems to be the correct rabbit scenario. He must be here. Yeah, is it fine? <laughs> I'm not getting it. See, my uh, drawing is so bad. I can't get it. Uh, I wish this could have been played by someone else. Okay, so was I, what I was talking about right now was that the graphene or, or like the uh, graphene can be a very good uh, source, but it is it's still not viable and we cannot get graphene into a picture in, in uh, commercial cases. Uh, then we could, could find another kind of a material which can hold a lot of uh, charge for us and it still is environmental friendly. So, when I talk of all these stuff, what I'm talking of very advanced level of thing, which we cannot solve. But what can you think be the solution of saving energy? So, I'm still waiting for someone who can tell me, what can you think can be the solution of saving and natural resources? And that I'm talking about the real sense, okay? Don't tell me something which is, you are not going to do ever in your life. I mean, for this part of your life. When you are studying, not when you are researching and everything, then obviously you can do it. But this is fixed. Where should the I be? Here. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay. So. Okay. Let me see who will answer this one. And accordingly, I'll put the value here. Okay. Not exploiting it and using it only for our need. So Deepika, that's what the point is. Uh, you, you obviously can say that you're not exploiting it and using it for our need, but what exactly? I, I it's still it's a general statement. I hope you get the point. When I say you are saving energy or natural resources, you're not exploiting it. Okay, but how? You got the uh, upper gist. That's again, that's what I was saying that we talk about a lot in general, but we have to talk about in particular, okay? So those who are not aware of it, also I'm just letting you know that we have this kind of a place where we are bringing a lot of superheroes. Now these are two superheroes, there are other superheroes like the physics, the chemistry and the biology, correct? So there are a lot of superheroes that are coming onto this and we are trying to bring this powerful people with a kind of a power here. So what we are doing now, we are bringing some strengths and some weaknesses. This is being done to create a situation where you can use the superheroes to solve some problems. And these superhero powers will be more like whatever you can have, correct? Like the thought bubble, something like that. You have this weakness, you think a lot and you're not able to get out of it. That's the problem with Xmas. Then you have this wisdom girl. She has a lot of rational thinking. She has the super power. But the problem is if you give a random data to her, she will not be able to find the wisdom from it. This is what we are. So be, you can be the wisdom girl or you can be x -Mark. 
Okay, someone gave the answer. Second. I overtook the second place racer. What is my position? Second. Good. Let's move to the next one. Slide left to unlock. How can I slide left? <laughs> this was pretty. The arrow was telling me to move right. Okay. Uh, okay. So, hydroelectric energy. Okay. To talk about hydroelectric energy, I tell you one very important point. Hydroelectric energy is actually not considered to be a very good resource, very good way of generating power. The problem with hydroelectric energy is that it it has to be created by stopping the flow of certain rivers which affects the next region wherever the river was going that's one basic thing the other is the cutting of trees the deforestation takes place at a massive scale and there is a lot of displacement of people around it so uh, like you all all the dams that are built for generating hydroelectric power they all have displaced a lot of tribal communities and the tribal communities have suffered drastically and that's why that's a pseudo uh, sustainable resource that's not a real sustainable resource if you take it and if you find the real the problem that is there they create they start with a problem of cutting the forest then they displace people or the agricultural land they just destroy it and later on also they destroy the aquatic life the flora and the fauna of the this uh, aquatic organisms get lost like this is totally gone and what is left is just mere concrete and therefore this whole ecosystem is disturbed again not a good resource not a good way move the fence feed the cat please he is hungry i can't move the fence the it is stopped i can not move the fence Wind energy, okay. The problem, oh, I cannot bring this. I cannot move cat. I cannot move this. I can only move this. That's weird. Feed the cat. Please, he is hungry. Okay, I'm going to feed the cat. Jessica, no, it was not. It was more like you have to feed the cat. So go to the cat and put it. Like not the picture of the cat. Word cat is also cat, that's why. Okay. Where is the green ball? That's tricky. I'll wait for someone to answer this. Where do you think is the green ball? Okay. <clears throat> Blue plus yellow. That's a green. Very good. So you, you remember the combination RBG, correct? All the different colors can be formed using the red, blue, and green principle. Correct. Okay, let's come back to our original case. <laughs> hey, we are jumping, yeah, because this is just a footer and this is just we are giving the feed. It's like normal talking. So, so now let us move to the next question, our next problem. They say curiosity kills the cat, but can you kill it as well? Oh, let me see who can solve this riddle. Again, I haven't solved it, okay, and I'm not smart. That's why I wanted to solve with this with you people. Okay, so don't do anything. See, I can move curiosity. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. The curiosity killed the cat. Okay, let's come back. Uh, so let us think, uh, I will play again, don't worry. Uh, let us say that you create a wind resource. Now, obviously the wind farm is a better resource, uh, better uh, sustainable, energy sustainable energy way or the method. Uh, but again, wind has kind of a very erratic kind of a situation. You don't have this uh, uh, widespread area where you can have a lot of good wind energy generation okay so wind energy requires uh, a lot of criteria like the speed of the wind then the place where you are putting all the windmills then you have to collect all the powers correct so in general wind energy cannot be deployed everywhere and even it's very specific to certain regions where the wind speed is quite high to move the turbine and all the wings and all and generate the power using that coupling correct but Solar energy is actually the best resource. If we talk about the solar energy point, we'll come about that, yes, we can do it. But again, my question was, what you can do it? 
at, at your age, you are still a kid of under 18 years, I hope so. What do you think you can do? What's your point? What you can do to save energy? What are the different ways you can actually do it and you are doing it? And I'm not talking only about when I say energy, I'm talking about electricity, by the way. It doesn't mean that. It in general means saving every type of energy. Let's say you can save by traveling. Can you save the energy so that you come, you just burn lesser fuel, the petroleum product, and create lesser carbon dioxide? Hope you have studied that the polar ice caps are being melting at a faster rate. So yes, you you are affecting it, but what we see, we see about ourselves as a minute person, a single person, and we see we are not affecting anything. What if I take like 100, 100 packets of plastic and I just put it out? It doesn't matter. But you multiplied by the 1 crore people, let's say 1 crore people, will make it a 100. If you are doing 100 plastic pieces, you are making a 100 crore plastic pieces. I am talking on average, okay? Not everyone is doing 100, correct? So, so that's the whole point, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so what do you think we can do? That's one of the questions we will be solving on Problem Solver. We will be thinking about it, talking about it, trying to bring more super characters, super heroes based on science and trying to use them or use their powers or their weaknesses, understand their weaknesses, try to provide some support from other person and do it. Turn it off, it's too dangerous. You can cut the, is it? Can we cut it? What do you say? Can we cut it? I'll remove the plug. I can't remove the plug. Deepika, that's stopping me. Can I stop it here? <laughs> okay. So, again, okay, the point, the point being, let us talk of very basic thing. You must be writing a lot on paper. Correct. Now, consider one very basic example, what I have seen people doing. They take up a piece of paper and they write very like they just leave four or five lines. I have seen this, these, the kids doing this. Okay. They, they just, so is, let's suppose this is a piece of paper. They will write here. They will write here and they will write here. But, or they leave a lot of spaces. And then they change the page. Try to reduce this one. Because this is a very small thing. But again, this can be done by you. Because you as a kid actually is using more paper compared to anything else. So you are not using more car. So if I say, hey, use use lesser, uh, don't use car that much. You use something else. Okay, but you are not using that much. You are not going to office. By the way, no one is going to office. <laughs> but still, the point being that you are not using transportation methods more. So you are not making that much impact there. But you are consuming a lot of paper because you are buying a lot of paper resources and all. Yes. And therefore, you are you may be wasting a lot of paper when you are writing it, and you are not reusing the paper. So when I was a kid, maybe I'm still. So when I was a kid, I used to get those recycled papers. They they used to cost ten rupees, okay? Uh, and those are like very recycled, very torn out paper, okay? Like very dullish kind of blackish, grayish, greenish kind of color. And uh, they were not good for writing fair things. But I was doing maths in those things and the calculation thing. Why? Because when I do math, I generally don't go and recheck it. You understand what I mean? I mean that when you solve math problems, you never go and see those problems again. When you're doing a lot of problems and draw, not the fair one that you have to submit your notebook in your school or you are doing it for keeping your notes. But you in general do a lot of math problems. So writing on a very clean paper is not required. You can use the recycled paper that you can get. They are cheaper. They are the recycled version of all the waste product of the pulp and all. And they just make it like remove all the ink from it and make a recycled status and they, are, they can be used just for one single use. 
you will indirectly save a lot of trees. But you don't see it. Yes, the rock book. But you don't see it. Because you think that buying a, a branded notebook or any other notebook will, will, will be better and it will, it will work. But you can save it. Yes. Same goes for the case of, let's say, okay, let's do one problem and then we'll come back. Okay. Oh my God, that's easy. That's super easy question. Isn't it, Deepika? If anyone else is available and typing, it will be very good. I want you to like, this is a very simple question and all. We are just... This is just for enjoyment, correct? Right? Still, we are learning something. We are learning two, three different things. Chitra chat. Okay. So. Okay, wait a moment. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Let me check. Twenty-seven. Very good. Let's basic math, of course. Tap them in order. One. Oh, I forgot. Manthi also told 27. Oh, I forgot. Uh, remember, someone, someone can type it in the chat and we can do it. <laughs> Let's do the cheating thing. Okay. So, what I was talking about is if, let's suppose, if you are um, having, a, let's say, rough calculation, okay? So, do you see that, uh, like rough calculation, like, uh, do you see that you have a lot of old notebooks, <coughs> correct? So, this is the second thing what I used to do, and I'm not making things up. I used to do it, and that's why I'm telling you, okay? Uh, this is not someone told me, but now I see kids are not doing it because they are not able to understand that they are actually also a part of creating the uh, global warming. Yes, you are. Because now the consumption capability has increased and we can buy a lot of things and we don't we don't think that next come out it. Hey, what will happen? I have the money, I can go and buy. Previously, India was not that much into rich zone, so people were about to recycle a lot. Correct? So this is what I used to do. I used to take away all my older notebooks uh, when like one year was finished. I used to see what are the papers that are left out. I used to like tear away every paper from it and I used to combine all of them, staple them together. And I make them like smaller, smaller, 10, 10 sheets kind of paper or like whatever the staple can hold. Yeah, the staple can't hold very big. It starts to torn away. Whatever, as much as it can hold, I used to staple it once. So now I can go and just do my rough calculation onto it. So let's say I have to solve like 67 into 30. I can just go and solve there to save the page again. Correct. So I can now solve more problems on the same page that I use can do. Or I can keep like that as my note taking thing. So whenever I'm thinking of something, let's say I'm writing an essay for English and I'm still thinking because you know that when you write an English essay, you have to write it comfort, like the perfect one and you can't make a lot of uh, cut crisscross and all these things. Correct? It doesn't look good. And English teachers are very, very peculiar about it. So, what we do then, like, just take a rough idea, bring some notes and everything and write it. Correct? So, these previous year papers or blank sheets can work again to save some paper. Indeed, you are saving some time. Okay. Again, again, one very important point. Uh, one very important point is, you can also like, uh, you have this uh, practical notebooks, like these are called the, in which the one side is never used. Have you seen it? Like in my time, what it, what it was, uh, there was this like a practical, uh, physics practical, chemistry practical books, and the one side was never used, like least used, you can say. Why? Because this is blank and this is written. This is like one side was a ruled line, the other side was a blank line, blank paper. The blank paper was there because you have to make some diagrams and all. But we were not going to make diagrams on every page. So some pages were always left out. So I used to remember that, hey, whenever this, uh, this practical book is submitted, checked and returned back and is not going to be used again, I will go and just write something there. Or I'll just tear away the paper again and staple it. So this way, a lot of things were getting saved. Okay, Deepika, let's just now quickly do this problem first. 149, we are so much bad. <laughs> 5, 7, 11 and 101. Okay. But that was for a memory, okay? <laughs> okay, let's leave it. So, uh -huh. what is the hidden number? 
can we move it quality like it 40 Right, was such a stupid question here. Okay. That is very silly question, by the way. I hope many of you know the answer. Okay, let's, let's come back and think something else. So, in general, the use and throw pens that we use are cheap. And they, they can be like uh, bought uh, and used once. And not they have don't have a recycle life you get the point the plastic is a very low grade and the pens are the single time use because you can't refill the ink now now i don't know what happened but uh, actually in 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 my days it was more like people were using fountain pen and all it's still it's there but the problem with fountain pen it is it leaks up a lot correct but it's still you have some other pens where you can refill the ink, correct? Have you seen that those pens where you can refill the ink? Like the, is there any pen where you can refill the ink? Do you know that? Like the sketch pens have this property that you can like, there's a, like a wick in it, yeah? A cotton wick in it where you can drop some ink and you can write it. Do you remember there are still pens which have the refilling capability? I'm not talking about bringing another plastic refill. That's for a ball pen, correct? There are some pilot pens and like that which have this wick and you can refill the ink and that pen actually works for like at least three, four times. Correct? So those pens actually reduce plastic. Okay. And that's a real way of uh, doing, seeing it because those pens you are using, uh, you're buying it once. The plastic is there, but the inside is a wick. Now wick is recyclable. I hope so. I'm not wrong. But that is just pure cotton or something like that, wool or cotton mixture, whatever it is, asbestos or something. I don't know what it is, but it is just a thing which absorbs something and releases it. It must not be that much harmful to the environment like plastic, correct? So what you see in those pens is just one single plastic with a metal tip, correct? And the inside is just complete. I'm not talking about those pens which have inside refill as a bigger plastic again. So again, you are buying plastic to plastic. That's like not, not changing anything. They are just costly. But certain pens which have this big. So why can't we just start using those pens and let the industry people know that produce something more like this? Think about it. You, you are buying something. They are thinking, hey, the buying of this thing has increased. So industry or economics work like this. It works like a demand to supply. So if you put more demand, they will supply more and more. Because they think, oh, you are getting demanded, so I have to supply this product because it is selling a lot. So if these pens start to sell a lot, they will understand that they people are now looking for pens which are refillable. And they start designing the pen around it. And maybe they can come up with certain pen which has the least plastic usage and higher non-plastic uh, part or recyclable part. Correct? So you can reuse the, the pen. Again, you can find the economics through the pen ink. The, uh, the company can make profit through the penning and that's okay. It's a refillable, refillable bottle. It can come in a glass bottle also. That's fine. It's not to need not to be a plastic. So in initial cases, when the ink was, when the fountain pen ink was there, it used to come in, I, I remember the name was Shell Park or something like that. It used to come in a very big glass bottle. It has a dropper of glass and rubber. Like, I hope you understand that this was a time when People were not able to buy a lot, but they were using things which were recyclable. <laughs> can you understand how drastically we have shifted from, we can buy more and we are using something which is not recyclable. So we are creating the pollution or the, the waste at least double, at least double. I'm not sure of the correct number, but at least double we are doing it because now we are buying more and it is not recyclable also. So this happens when you, uh, if you get something like they can make a glass bottle, they can put a wick inside it, which is again a glass tip and you can take it, drop it. The, the, the top part is a rubber, again, not, not that much harmful. So you take it out, you put uh, in your ink refill and you just use it four, five, six times, where as much time the pen nib is holding. And you can save again at least 10 to 15 that single use plastic pen again. 
in the long run it will not cost you that much again it will initially cost you a little bit higher but in the long run if the company starts to think like this they will come up with a cheaper way of manufacturing the same thing the glass thing and all okay let us do the next one how many months have 28 days i guess every month has 28 days so so this this happens when we see in a very small level now this is what all about is going to be the problem solver you understand the point now the problem solver you are the problem solver i am the problem solver everyone is the problem solver we need some superheroes that we are creating in this universe with their powers their weaknesses we are going to use and understand those powers will be our powers those weaknesses will be our weaknesses and you'll understand how in real life we actually face the same situation as those superheroes okay so the point being again that's two of the basic example <clears throat> if you notice now most of the tech technology things are now not repairable enough in the initial days something when it was bad it used to get repaired there was there were people who can repair it for much cheaper cost than the old original product so let's say the product costs around 10000 rupees the product can be repaired depending upon the type of problem under like 2000 or 1000 rupees but now it takes around more than the 50% of the value and the people pay and people think why we need to like get it repaired let's buy it because the companies are doing it again okay you can't do it anything but you can just force them to start getting products which are repairable you understand what i am saying so some products which are just manufactured in such a way there is no screw to open it up to remove something and all this is happening in mobile phone industry in laptop in the in technological laptop manufacturing and everywhere okay again you are not using that much of mobile phone and laptop okay please save this boy oh he is crying a lot Let's something. Oh, I can't give it. Oh, I got it. This. Yay! <laughs> we saved it. <laughs> no, the rock is in Mark Deepika. It was uh, there was a shovel which can be used for uh, uh, this uh, finding the bowl for that. Uh, okay. So uh, again, but there is one one very basic thing. in general what we do we just buy a lot of my, uh, mobile phone and all correct even though the mobile phone is working fine we go for the newer one and the newer one that's actually wasted of resources because e waste is a, again a bigger problem and we are not going to talk about it because we are focusing on very small problem that you and i can solve okay we can solve the paper problem of course we can solve the ink problem a little bit yes i still think 30% yes what about the next thing you can solve i want to hear from you now Yeah, I gave you two ideas. Give me one idea. Till then, I'm solving this. Who is? Where is the black sheep? Hey, where is the black sheep? Here is the black sheep. No, here is not the black sheep. Hey, here is the black sheep. <laughs> oh, I made everyone black. <clears throat> yeah, Deepika, that was correct. <clears throat> so, anyone with any other idea? <clears throat> Just now, what you have to do? Go observant. Okay. <clears throat> go observe and see what you are doing look around yourself watch which is the thing that you are doing what is wrong with this picture i don't know what is wrong with this picture i am not getting it is there anything wrong with this picture Oh, yeah so i'll wait for someone to answer this but till then uh, understand that whatever your day is no your every day task <coughs> try to <coughs> find excuse me <coughs> hello <coughs> okay so whatever your uh, regular day task is try to see where are you actually creating a waste where can you conserve can you conserve power when you are studying or so let's say let's say you are uh, using a lot of lot of lights in your room 
but can it be replaced by a simple table lamp <coughs> which can be placed around your bed or your study table and can you just use that table lamp to study <coughs> like that if you do all those things uh, same, same goes with uh, I don't know but uh, this is a very simple someone found it heaven pumpkin in birthday party so what I should do through this it's not moving anything anywhere Should I cut it? Look at their hands carefully. Okay. I got a hint. I have to look at their hands carefully. Okay. What is happening? Okay. Oh my God. That hand was like six fingers. Weird, that could never have been found. Put the elephant into the fridge. Okay, I'll put this elephant. Oh, not good. That's weird. No, the fridge is not opening. If it would have opened, I would have done it. <laughs> I really would have done it. The fridge is not opening. Oh, it's opening. Stupid me. <laughs> okay, what is the last letter in alphabet? Is it Z? But in alphabet, it is T. <laughs> it must be checking us, correct? Yeah, I got it. That's what I got it also. Yeah, we did not try Z. Any idea anyone has? Oh, oh, there is an intruder in our party. Who is the intruder here? There are black cats. There are this pink brownish cats. There are this yellowish cats. What is this guy doing this now? First, let us... Think. Well, he is just facing opposite. Can you see that? No. There is a rat left side. Where is a rat? Is this the rat? Oh, Deepika, how you got it? Save her. Okay. He has this. Okay, the cat can flip this, can it? Can I just make it fall on his head? I can't. Oh, I can use this. Oh, they are stones. Yeah, dustbin is there, but I cannot let it fall onto him. There is this stone. Clouds can't lack one. Oh! <laughs> that was very weird. There were stones available and he got punished by that cloud. Yep. Can I make this 15 plus 4, 19? I can't. Can I make 4? Can I equal to sign? Can I 19? Oh, it's going. Wait. Oh. What's happening? There is something happening, but it's not perfect. Oh, I need to keep it hold. Yeah, I did that. Tom is angry again. Please help.
Okay. Uh, by the way, we will we'll obviously solve this one again. What about what about your uh, traveling or uh, not traveling? Let's say how many of you prefer to use a bicycle? How many? Can you tell me? Do you prefer to use a bicycle? Yes or no? Uh, by the way, I still have got a bicycle, you know that. Not here, but yeah, in general, I use that. It's not working. No, you walk, that's a good thing. Oh, you got a wrap. Oh, you got a wrap. I don't know what happened. Make them fall in love, okay? He is not waking up and the balloon is not getting it's not popping it's not popping the diamond oh <gasps> the diamond ring did that What is the cat's child called? Is it Kit or is it Mitty? Okay, this is the last one. I think it's quite enough time we have spent it. There was not that much things that you know, people mix Kit and Mitty. No. As soon as I click, it becomes a cross Deepika. The moment I click on it, click it, it becomes a cross. I'm trying my best to be get kitty, but it's not becoming kitty. I click it, it becomes a cross. It just stops. Oh, there must be something. Cat's child. Straight forward. <laughs> okay. Which cat is on the right? Is this cat on the right? I saw this riddle on Reddit. Where is the bull? Where is the bull? Where is the red bull? Yes. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing, I'm stopping here. This is level 33 now, where there must be around 20 and more, 20, some 16, 17 more levels left. There were total 50 levels, I guess so. Oh, this is a based on a linear equation, I guess so. So we'll solve this one and we'll end this. So end with our mathematical problem, correct? Fine. So now you tell me. I'll wait for the final answer because this is a very simple. When I was six years old, my sister was half of my age. This can be done by using again, taking X and Y and solving it. Mm -hmm. 
so I, i'll suggest you one to do one thing go and now see where you are wasting a lot of resources at your level don't go and look at the global level there is not required so if you do it at a very small level also it affects and if you do it if your friend do it if your friend to friend do it and all and all and all so there will be a lot of friends doing it and maybe then people will be using lesser paper correct and if they use less paper they will cut less trees indirectly you are saving the environment okay so i'll wait for someone to give the answer for this one the equation has to be solved so take someone as x and someone as y i hope it can be solved then i'll still wait this is going to be our last question for today there are other games that you can play there are a lot of games that we can play correct but we'll play all these games one by one okay so all like that we are game 8 and 17 and this we were playing okay wait i'll put the answer what is the sum of my siblings ages 25 correct dipika okay let me put it very good and now we have understood that we can solve this time no tricks of course there's no direct math question i told you already okay so hope this is fine i hope you enjoyed this solving a few of the questions some some puzzles and all tricky puzzles some were like very silly puzzles some were like good math problem and all we talked about a lot of about environment so this friday futter closes we are meeting on sunday and on sunday we are doing the permutation combinations why i am doing all these chapters because these chapters will be used to solve real life problems permutation combination is a chapter which can be used in real life okay it's not just a pure math chapter it's a actually a general life chapter so that's why also it will help be helpful to you hope you like the session and uh, you are enjoying these things those who are still not on discord i would suggest get on discord we are solving a lot of daily problems every day we are solving a lot of problems monday to friday in general but now friday is a friday for us and then we have all the different channels where we can discuss a lot of about these things what all the sessions are happening around it okay every sunday something happens and we discuss uh, nothing has been discussed in permutation combination you can find everyone here a lot of people are here we talk a lot and all better community building correct so see you the next time bye everyone i hope you enjoyed the session bye bye